Hello and welcome to the third part of my CC cosplay series. This time I will show you how I made these two cotton petticoats. Again, I'm using a truly Victorian pattern. It comes with three sheets of the patterns and the instructions. I'm using my copying method. I'm laying the fabric right onto the copying paper and the pattern on the fabric. And then I'm rolling my copying wheel over all the lines and markings so I have them right on the fabric. After I did that, I'm turning around the fabric and following the lines again so I have the markings on both sides. After I did this, I'm just cutting out the pieces. There are nine pieces for this skirt. Now I'm sewing all the pieces together. The pattern is quite simple at this point. You just sew the matching pieces together and then make some folds on the waist to match your waistline. Now I'm ironing open the seam allowance from the back piece. As you can see, it's not closed all the way up. That's because there is a closure. So this will stay open because that will make it easier to go in and out the skirt. I'm just ironing it flat so it looks nice and I have no trouble overlocking it later. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm overlocking every seam of the skirt so it looks nice and it doesn't rivel up anymore. Now I'm pinning on the waistband, making sure the middle of the waistband and the skirts are matching. And here you can see the folds that are made on every seam of the piece, so it will match my waist. Because when you put on the skirt without the folds, it will be way too big around your waist and that's fine, that's okay, because we want that folds to give the skirt a little more volume and a little more texture. At the back of the skirt we have way more fabric than it would fit on the waistband so we ruffle it up so it fits and that's also wanted because we want some volume in the back. So as you can see I sewed on the waistband and now I'm doing a hook and eye closure. I'm sewing this on by hand. The first petticoat is the only one with a closure at the moment because I'm losing some weight and I don't know how tight I can go in the corset later so the other skirts or the other petticoat doesn't have a closure at the moment. So now the petticoat is kind of finished but it looks really plain and it was way too long so I'm adding some folds and I'm just looking at the back at this one and do it all the way around. The folds are all two centimeter deep and there will be three more rows of folds. Now I'm sewing the folds and I'm making sure that they still have this two centimeters of depth so I treat it like a seam allowance and I'm just doing one fold at a time so I'm trying to make all four folds and then sew them but I messed it up so you have to make one fold, sew it and then you can pin the next fold. And here you can see how it turned out with the four folds, they are not even all around the skirt but it's okay, it's a petticoat. <laughs> so on for the next one. This time I wanted it a little bit fuller, so I'm just going not the full length of the petticoat, I'm just stopping at the line where it says you can lengthen or shorten it here. So I have it the same length all around. And the lower part will be ruffles. So we have much more volume at the lower part of the skirt so it looks fuller. This time I'm not cutting the triangles for the markings, I'm just cutting it a little bit in the fabric so I can still see the markings. And here I'm making the ruffles, they are all the same lengths and I did a few of them. So when you sew them all together we have a total length of 10 meters. That's the double circumference of the skirt because the hoop skirt has a circumference of 
around 5 meters. I'm, now I'm sewing all these strips together at the short side, so we have one super long strip. Now on for the ruffles. So we have this short petticoat we made before, so I just followed the same step as for the first petticoat with the waistband, etc, etc. And now we're attaching this super long strip to this super short petticoat. And I'm just doing it right how I felt and magically the length of this strip matched up with the circumference of the short petticoat. And here you can see I'm just doing a really easy rolled hem at the bottom edge. Also adding some lace trimming to the hem. I did this to the first petticoat too, but I don't have any footage of this. So here we are in the crinoline without a corset because I'm lazy and with the first petticoat. So here you can see it covers up the crinoline quite well, but you can still see the crinoline through and it doesn't have much volume and you can still see some sharp edges from the crinoline. So we're going for the second petticoat. It still closes with the pin and the back, but there will be a closure later on. And it's much heavier than the first petticoat, but it's much fuller <laughs> too. So the fullness and the volume of the skirt is amazing and I just love how it turned out. And that's pretty much it. We're finished with the Victorian undergarments and the next step will be the real skirt for the sissy starters. Hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye!